Hi guys, this is uh, Ewan Ramsey here from Performance UAV and tonight we're going to do a quick sample of our Gimbal Eye Spotlight. Uh, we're just going to see how it performs tonight. As you can see, this is car headlights. It is absolutely pitch black. So I will switch off uh, my car headlights and we shall see how we get on. Okay. Yeah, we'll just pan forwards. It's looking okay, actually. And that's it there. So that's us approximately 50 meters away. As you can see, it's uh, it's holding nice and steady. So let's bring it back. Bring it down a little so you can see the. There's the quad there. So let's move it to the right. As you can see, it stays directly underneath the quad. So, useful search and rescue applications, nice and steady. It just sits right underneath where you point it. There you go. Let's do that again. That's going to make it a lot easier for these types of applications. Especially when you combine it with the loiter facility with a lot of the cameras. The the flight controls that we get nowadays. That chirping you hear, that's just my PID's too high. Well, let's try and bring it back towards us a little. And there we are. Bring it down. Now 
as you can see, you can sit at a very specific point and it just sits and moves. Let's move away. There we go. Just sits nicely underneath. Let's just get, get a bit of height here. There we are. Apologies for the low light. It's, uh, it is, does appear a lot better than this in, in real life. It's, uh, it's just the nature of camera work at night, I guess. So let's just do another little example. Let's go to the left. As you can see, it stays directly underneath the quad. Let's just roll it back. So at all times, the flashlight is sitting basically straight down. Now of course this is servo based, so it's not the most responsive in the world. But it is, uh, it is useful from this perspective. If it's the scenario that you're likely to have with this is you're not going to be blasting around the skies. You're, you're going to be tracking with the, with the operators on the ground and you're going to be helping them as you go along. Now there we go, see that's both axes working now. Forward and back. And let's pan around in a circle. And what's the effective operating height of this? Well, let's find out. Okay, I think that's about as much as you'd want to go with this power of spotlight. You're looking at around... You're looking at a circle of around 50, 50 meters, basically. I'll show you where I am. Okay, I think that concludes today's demo. I Still a bit of work to be done on the uh, stabilization. It's, uh, it can be improved, but uh, hopefully that's just the first flight that we have here. There we are. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll uh, do another video when uh, we fix some of the stability issues. Okay, until then, bye bye.